Hi everyone. It's been a little while since I've done a video and um, something's been on my mind that I wanted to share with you all. So I thought I would make a video of it while it's fresh. And it has to do with the practice of gratitude, which might not come as a surprise. If you know me or have followed me for a while, you know that I've had a practice of gratitude for um, about two decades now. So it's definitely a big part of my life. However, even for myself, I have noticed over this period of time how the practice ebbs and flows. And you know, for me, my gratitude practice started as just every day writing at least three things I was grateful for and when I could more. And I developed that through my yoga teacher training. I developed it with um, support from mentors. I used gratitude as a way to get through challenging work situations over the years and just many other times. And then I created a group on Facebook that many of you are in or know about. And as I kind of went through that arc and, and um, different ways of connecting with gratitude and especially managing the Facebook group, I noticed that I went more into admin role rather than really feeling and connecting with my own personal gratitude. And so what I've been thinking about lately is, um, and even when I've done gratitude, it's one thing to make a list and it's another to do what I call embodied gratitude or have a practice of embodied gratitude. If you just heard a rooster, it's because I'm in Kauai right now and there's roosters everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to be grateful for the roosters right now. And, and it's such a different thing to have an experience where I pause to consider what I'm grateful for and then really sit with that and take a moment of being with that, whatever that thing, that person, that experience is. And I was um, in a, an event today with my friend and colleague and tremendous healer, Shelly Short, and she was talking about gratitude as well and this message of gratitude and being with it. And it just hit me again how important it is to breathe it in, to take it in, to really feel it in an embodied way. It has such a greater impact when we do that. And I'm sure you know or have heard about or read about the incredible impacts of gratitude and what it actually can do for our health, for our well-being, our mental health on and on and so it's very powerful and it's an incredible gift and healing and that is even expanded and deepened when we do it in an embodied way when we take it in and breathe it in and can really be with it so i just would like to invite you right now to think of one thing you're grateful for it could be a person it could be an experience a situation it could be your cup of coffee anything at all whatever is the first thing and take it in. I'm going to think of one thing. And then take it in. Let yourself really feel it. If it's that coffee, just maybe even smell it. If it's a person, call to mind their qualities or the smile or whatever it might be. And take a few moments and let it get deep in your body, in your mind. Let it get big in your mind, your experience of this thing take it in and take a few deep breaths with it allowing yourself to sit with it and we've only been going about a minute here where we've been sitting with it just notice sometimes that can feel like a long time or I don't usually do this or can you let it get even bigger can you increase your capacity to hold this gratitude to hold Hold it and let it permeate and ripple throughout your body, throughout your being, using your breath as a vehicle to connect with that. And then just take a moment when you're ready, maybe hand to the heart or something different, and let that, let that go. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and make a list of gratitudes, or you can invite yourself to think of another one and do that same experience. And especially for 
something that's really meaningful or a little bit bigger. It's a really nice way to expand capacity, to really feel into gratitude in a way you can just multiply the benefits and the actual experience, the embodied experience of gratitude. So just wanted to share this as it's been on my mind and I hope it's been helpful for you to share with somebody who might be struggling, somebody who already has a gratitude practice, somebody you actually felt gratitude for and let them know you did this practice for them. That would be a real gift to receive that. Okay. Sending you so much love. Mwah.